Hi, I'm Valcorum and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a video on recipes for the game Moonshine Inc. This video is focusing on recipes just for moonshine. Alright, let's get started and please remember to like, subscribe or leave a comment as it really does help me out. Okay, the first recipe we're going to look at is Bimba 1410. Now keep in mind I'm at full technology tree in this run through. Alright, so the first ingredient we need to add is molasses. And the second ingredient we need to add for this one is beet sugar. Go through the normal process. And use simple yeast. Then we change our slider. So that we're fully across as molasses and, beet, and less beet. As you can see when we run that off. That gives us a 100% quality cheap Bimba 1410. So the next recipe we're going to do is Daddy Bear. This one requires corn syrup, honey, and beet sugar. Go through the normal process. And then use wild yeast. And then adjust your sliders till you get the best match you can. That then gives us a 100% Daddy Bear recipe. Alright, the next recipe is Donald's recipe. This one requires beet sugar. Maple syrup. And turbinado sugar. Again, go through the normal process. Use simple yeast. And then adjust your sliders till you get the match you want. All right. And then when you go through the normal process, and then when you look at this one. You see that we get a 100% quality Donald's recipe. The next recipe is family heirloom. This one uses agave syrup and rice syrup. Complete your configuration. And as you can see, pretty much 100% every time using simple yeast. Then you go through your normal distilling process. And as you can see, we get a 100% family heirloom. Okay, our next recipe is Moonshine 101. For this one, we use turbinado sugar and Barbados sugar. Complete our configuration using simple yeast. We have a 100% match. Then go through your normal distillation and bottling process. And as you can see, we end up with a 100% Moonshine 101. All right, the next recipe is a collar how. This one's a really simple one. Rice syrup. Go through your configuration. And set to wild yeast. From there, go through your distillation process. And once completed, you'll have a 100% Ocala How. All right, the next recipe is Poitin. For this one, you need corn syrup, Damara sugar, and beet sugar. Follow your normal process. Using simple yeast, then we get an 80% match. Once you've um, distilled this one and bottled this one, we end up with a 97% poitin. The next recipe is poor man's tequila. For this one, we use agave syrup, birch syrup, and cane sugar. Then configure all our apparatus. Simple yeast, and we get a 100% match. Then once you distill and bottle, we end up with a 100% poor man's tequila. Right, the next recipe is rot cut. For this one, we use Barbados sugar, and we use Demerara sugar. Once again, set everything up. Simple yeast, and then we do a bit of a slide across till we get the 100% match. From there, you do your distillation and bottling, and you'll end up with a 100% rot cup. All right, the next recipe is shiny. For this one, we use Cane sugar, agave syrup, 
and beet sugar. Complete the process as per normal using simple yeast. And then we sort of move the sliders over this way and we'll get ourselves a 100% batch. From there, we'll do the distillation and bottling and we'll end up with a 100% shiny. All right, our next recipe is Spirit Lifter. For this one, we have cane sugar, turbinado sugar, and honey. Complete the process as per normal using simple yeast, and we get a 100% match. Then once we do our distillation and bottling, we end up with a 100% spirit lifter. Okay, our next recipe is budget rum. For this one, we need molasses and beet sugar. Do the normal process. We use wild yeast for this one, and then we actually need to move the slider over till we get a 100% match, and then that opens up a post distillation for us. In this case, we're gonna take aging. Then once you've done your distillation and bottling process, we end up with a 100% budget rum. Our next recipe is Coco Roco. This is one of my favorite early game recipes because it's a fine moonshine and doesn't require a post distillation. So for this one, we need molasses, maple syrup, and beet sugar. So we follow our process. And as you can see, we get a 100% match. So then once we actually distill and bottle, we end up with a 100% Coco Roco. Okay, our next recipe is Granny's Sweetener. For this one, we use Damara sugar, maple syrup, and Barbados sugar. Follow our process. And then what we also do is we do turbo yeast and a post-distillation of aging. This gives us an 84% match. When we do our post-distillation and bottling, we end up with a 100% granny sweetener. Okay, our next recipe is sabucha. For this one, we use beet sugar, birch syrup, and Barbados sugar. Follow our normal process. Then we use turbo yeast, and we have a filtration. And then we can move the sliders over and get ourselves a 100% match. Then we do our distillation and bottling, and we end up with a 100% sewage. Okay, our last recipe is sugar wash. For this one, we use birch syrup, maple syrup, and beet sugar. Then go through our process. We use wild yeast, post distillation of filtration and then we can move our slider this way till we get a 94% match. Then we do our distillation and our bottling and we end up with a 100% sugar wash. I hope these recipes help you during your playthrough of Moonshine Inc. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, subscribe or leave a comment as it really does help me out.